And we are back live on the Icebreaker Radio Show. It's your boy, Chosen D. Dot Ham Rothstein in the building. Y'all know how we do every Wednesday, 7 p.m. Central Standard Time to 9 p.m. We get down playing the freshest and undiscovered talent and the hottest uh, music. And uh, y'all know what time it is. It's time for the artist interview section of the night. D. Dot, who did you bring by to the show tonight, man? Why don't you go, go on and let everybody know out there in Radio Land who we got in the building? All right, so tonight uh, is the first segment of my producer's corner um, show, and I got two guys that are well-known on the online uh, music production uh, tip. Trauma and Postman, you know, Trauma known for TraumaDrums.com, um, his drum library. Um, he offers the artists out there, very unique, uh, very hard-hitting, and Postman, a master marketer, um, you know, he's, taught a lot of producers how to start, you know, beat businesses from the ground up, and uh, he is also a producer. So without much further ado. Yo, yo. <laughs> well, hey, what's up, fellas? How y'all doing tonight? Trauma and Postman. How y'all, how y'all uh, uh, feeling out here? We good, man. I, you know, I, I know, I know. Post is, is is feeling good as well, man. It's it's been a a, a great year for uh for Trauma Drums and, and, and Live Off Beats, and you know, um, yeah, coming into the to the new year and uh, connecting with all kinds of producers up and coming. You know, um, trying to trying to get it in for for the for the new decade, man. We're, we're really excited about that, and and, and uh, excited to be on the show as well. Thank you. Thank already, you, already. Well, so, we got a couple uh, you know, questions lined up for you, and I, I know DJ, this is his producer segment corner, so we're going to go on and turn it over to him and, and, and let him hop into the driver's seat. So what's good, fellas? How y'all doing tonight? Good, good. Good, good. So tell us a little bit, man, who, you know, who's posting trauma, you know. Tell us a little bit about yourself, you know, when did you start out? All right, well, shoot, as far as me, uh, trauma, um, I've been I've been I started producing when I was 14 so so it's been almost it's going on 12 years now um you know I started just like every other up and coming producer with a little drum machine and a keyboard that probably didn't loop or quantize and uh from then on <laughs> you know from up until now I um you know I just been been trying to get into every different aspect of music from from you know mixing to to the producing, to even, you know, uh, being an artist and, and, and things like that. And, um, you know, uh, and I recently, uh, connected with Pulse. Uh, I've been on, you know, on Pulse for a little, for a little bit now, probably, probably a couple of years now. And, um, he was the, uh, the, the one that, that actually helped me bring trauma drums to life, which, you know, I've been making drum sounds for a while. And, um, you know, uh, we sat down and, um, you know, first I was a part of Live Off Beats. Uh, he brought me on a board with Live Off Beats to to, uh, to be a part of that with him. That's something that he started years ago that I think every producer online or every producer in the world has heard about. Um, so that was really the, you know, the, the start of uh, Trauma Drums as well. You know, it first started with linking with, with Live Off Beats and then uh, Post sitting down with me to, to help bring about uh, the, the Trauma Drums brand to life. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Well, well, my- good stuff. Well, my next question is is directed at either you or or trauma or or postman you with us. Um, what is exactly live off of beats for everybody out there that's asking themselves, huh? Live off uh, beats, live off beats. You know, tell us a little bit more about that. Am I am I on the line? This postman, am I on? Yeah, yeah you yeah, on okay. postman? You live? Oh, okay, okay. Because okay. lines are getting crossed. I was on one second, and next thing you know, it's a storage company talking about press two to storage. <laughs> <laughs> I'm like, oh man. <laughs> all right, cool. Nah, you know what? Live off beats is it's real simple, man. The name says it all. Like live off beats, man. It's about producers. You know, instead of having the mindset of, you know, I'm gonna keep making beats and make more beats and make more beats and then live broke and you know, live with my with their mom in their basement and all that shit. It's about look, how can I get these beats out there, even if it's just making two thousand dollars a month, but be able to sustain myself and, and have a career in this, you know what I mean? So not just making a gang of beats to show your homies or maybe one day get signed, but you actually start selling them right now and listening as in, you know, paying your bills, paying your rent, having a good time and living comfortably 
off your gift and off your talent. So that's, in a nutshell, what Live Off Beats is all about. What's happening? Do that, do that, do that. I, I, I like that right there, man. Just the concept of being able to take something that you normally wouldn't be able to make a living off of, and now you can make a living off of it. That's what's up, man. We like that. Yeah, you know what? The internet, like, uh, got to be you know, because before we get access to each other, you know what I mean? Like, you had to really get your feet on the ground and knock on labels' doors and all that shit. But now, artists can get right to their fan base, you know, and, and sell independent and make ten, twenty Gs a month just selling they they independent fan base on the internet. Producers now can sell to artists all over the world. I mean, I ain't talking about just your local neighborhood. I'm talking about I'm talking about I got clients in, in Denmark, Germany, Japan, Canada, places I ain't never even heard of. I don't even know what Netherlands money is, but I know I'm getting it. You know what I mean? So, like, the whole thing didn't opened up for, for all of us. So I think we just got to start taking advantage of that. That's what's up. Dig that the next question on you. So, Trauma, tell us a little bit about Trauma Drums, you know, the site and how you got started with that. I know you said you've been doing that a while. Yeah, man, uh, really – Really, how it came about is uh, as far as like my my interest, my ever growing interest in in the actual drum drum sound um, happened when I started sampling drums from from some of my favorite producers back in the day, like like directly off records or CDs. Um, this one cat told me he was like one of the, the the biggest producers in my area at the time. They were well known, and you know they were they were actually uh, rising. So. I had, had happened to be in the same uh, studio, and I remember him loading up the snare in the MPC, and he hit it. And I had never heard a snare like that in my life, and I asked him what it was. He was like, it's a snare. And um, I was like, man, can I have it? He was like, no, nah, you can't have it, but I you know, I could tell you how to get it. Well, he said show. He never showed me, but he told me. You know, he started naming albums and stuff to go get, you know, and, and from then on, and I was about 16 at that time, so... I started listening, and I, and I slowly but surely developed an ear for what drum sound should sound like. I went and got the Chronic 2001 and, you know, albums like that. So ever since then, I've I really been making, you know, uh, drum sounds, stacking sounds, mixing them, blending them up, cutting them, chopping them, whatever you could do to a sound I've probably done. And if, if I haven't, then I'm, I'm about to do it. So that's how Trauma Drums came about, um, you know, being a part of Live Off Beats. Uh, as I said, you know, me, me and Postman are always throwing creative ideas around. So I was like, hey, you know what? I, I usually, because I had got to the point where I was making so many sounds, uh, just making beats every day, I would make a new snare every time. So I was like, you know what? What if I just, you know, put put it out there? What if what if I just, you know, um, started letting producers use the sounds that I make? And uh, it, it, it happens from there. So Drama Drums is all about, you know, Using using because the sounds that I create, I like to call them new technology. It's almost like, like you know, it's equivalent to uh, uh, a keyboard. Like if someone's still using the Triton, you're gonna look at them crazy. Like, hey man, there's new sounds, you know, since then. So it, it's basically almost like okay, how I feel about it. Um, trauma, you know, as far as drum sounds go, like people that are still using these 808 kits, that's cool. But you have to think about. You know that that shit was a long time ago, and it, and you know there hasn't really been a new technology for for our producers as far as sound goes. So that's what Trauma Drums is. It's like the digital age solution to uh to drum sounds. That's what's up, man. They definitely banging. By the way, I got a few of them kits right here. <laughs> yeah, I'm gonna have to. I'm gonna have to get a couple myself, man. So uh, <laughs> uh, uh, I would definitely be in touch with you. You know, if you're a producer out there. And and you definitely want to increase your sound library. You know what I'm saying? Hit us up, 646-595-2679, and we'll connect you with the man that is producing new technology and sound. <laughs> Appreciate that, man. Pam, I think the next question is on you. Okay, it seems like you guys are pretty passionate about your production. Who are your top five producers in the industry right now, and who do you feel like you need to compete with, or who do you feel like you need to knock out? Well, uh, I'm sorry, was that was was you asking me that question? I was asking either one of y'all. Um, the top five producers in the industry right now. Right now. 
see that it's kind of it's kind of crazy because my top five <laughs> my top five producers are controversial, and I say that because I'm I'm an old head. I'm one of them cats that's going to be like you know uh, back in my day because I still I still have the same five favorite producers and more than five that I that I've always had. Like Trauma, you still with us? Yeah, I'm still here. I think okay. it's close. Where you at? I'm I'm right here, man. What's going on? Okay, you coming through okay. now? You wasn't coming through yeah. before. <laughs> oh, oh, I was I was saying, uh, you know, it's, it, I think the game right now is in transitional period. So there's no real producer that you can look at and go, okay, they're killing it right now because. You know, I mean, all this shit right now sounds the same. I mean, from you, you turn the radio on, I mean, you don't know who produced what because all of it sounds exactly the same. So, but I think as far as, like, in the game that we should look after, see, I think, like, Neptune's would be up there. You got to put Dre up there somewhere, you know what I mean? Even though he, he ain't making beats, but producer-wise. And you got to put Timbo up there. You know, he's been doing the killing it from day one. Uh and really, I mean, that's about it. I I would t- say Lil John, but that was like seven years ago. You know what I mean? So it's like, really, it's just it, whoever can come in right now. Kane Beach is killing it, but you know, all his shit sound the same too. <laughs> so it's, 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 I think it's grabs. Yeah, I agree. I agree. Interesting. I interesting. Uh, I I I I think you guys left out, you know what I'm saying? Uh, well, 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 let me ask you this. I ain't going to say that because everybody's just has their own opinion. But what do you think about producers like Drummer Boy and Drummer Squad? Or maybe like, Drummer... um, you, you, go ahead. I was going to say Drummer Boy is dope. Don't get me wrong. Drummer Boy is dope. I, I, I forgot I just... Drummer Boy. We've got to say Drummer Boy yet. Yeah. yeah, I just, it just, it, for me, for me personally, it's just so many producers in these last five, six years have became what I call, like, they, they went away with the fads. Like, 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 Post said with Lil John, you know, it, he was a dope producer, but look what happened to him when crunk music went out, you know? And then you got, you. there's only so many classic producers, like producers that are legendary, that are still around, that have been around since, from, you know, from the beginning, or that got in the game and made such a such an impression that they still exist. Like, uh, you know, there, there's no more. Pro- I, I haven't heard of any. Like, look what happened to Scott Storch. You know, it's just it's hard to put my stake in any producer nowadays. But they're here today and going. Well, let me ask you this. What you think about Kanye? Yeah. Say, say that again? I said, what do you think about Kanye's production? You don't think he's in that elite class <laughs> with the top of trades and Hell no. that doing it big like this? Hell no. Hell no. If I can say that word on the radio show, hell no. Kanye, to me, is a thumbs down, man. He gets to eat for effort, you know what I mean? But how did great, you know, he jacked people, you know what I mean? And I, all the stuff I've actually seen him make has been like, it's, 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 you're, you're breaking up, bro. Oh, I was saying it's hard to cipher if the hot, hot stuff that he's come out with, if it really, if he really made 